Connect, connect, connect. Why is that doing that? Your days that everything just works right and everything that nothing works right. Oh. Okay, well, screw it. Got six points. Okay, what can we put those in? Auto level up. I'm not going this deep into any of these guys. It's not worth it. So what the hell are they doing to all of them? Oh, they're just right across. Really? You gonna do that right now? No, we're not gonna play with your right now. The outpost can't come back tonight. Would they be willing to go back to the station? After a zero day check in now. I won't take a second. Double the bomb itself. Maybe it's said the dumb. It seems Art, my friend, how are you this evening? Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. Tell me about your day. How did it go? An expedition to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the starry scientist, Pelisaria Basale. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on EO. I can't believe this it. is HNS. I'm glad we did. I can't believe it. A violent illness related. All right, let's figure out where we need to go next.
Ryder, could we talk a moment? All right, Kala, what's the problem? I hear you found a stasis locker from the Salarian Ark. Technically, someone else found it first, but yes. How wonderful! I know it's not the Ark itself, but any sign is better than nothing, surely. Please, if I can help the search at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. Doctor's appointment got cleared for PT and physical exercise. Good. That's good to hear. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Teon weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. All right, let's check our email. Wow. Just wow. But good for you. Let's take a look at our... Investigate space attacks on Nexus ships. Okay, we gotta go do that. Let's go check out this back here first. Oh, we failed that. That sucks. Wow, really? Wow. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Today was relatively good with work um not much to report there oh, left. um we had chicken nuggets just simple kind of chicken nugget stuff for dinner tonight um I actually put computer water cooling know-how to work in the real world. So my mom's got a whole home humidifier and the drain pipe gets clogged up. And the last time, which was a couple weeks ago, like it will, it's out in the garage. So if it leaks or whatever, which it does, it just leaks on concrete. So it's not a big deal. So I asked her, I said, hey, you know, was that stuff white, meaning hard, you know, hard minerals, or was it a different color? And she goes, it was a different color. I said, ha, that is organic growth. That is a problem. So I said, there's not, because it's, if it's a, a thing of water, there's not a whole lot you can do because you can't treat it because you don't want that to vaporize and get put into the, into the air. I said, however, water cooling guys have been using silver strips in water to sit there and prevent bacterial growth. So that's exactly what I went and got her. I got her a silver strip that I'm going to sit there and we're going to take the thing apart. We're going to put it in the whatever 
kind of containment pool or whatever this thing is, and hopefully it prevents this from happening again. A little bit of water cooler know-how. Look at that. Big brain. Okay, that's good, I guess. It looks like we're coming up on a blue giant. From Aya, it's often the brightest star, the first to rise. Any uh, prospects on the job front or no? Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. already hard to believe it's april already which by the way if you have not filed your taxes don't forget 418 is your is the filing day anomaly detected deploying probe getting a scan Applying data to what we already have. Oh, well, because the pet, I just wanted to, you know, just, it's one of those dad things to do, I get it, but making sure that people remember because the past year or so they sat there and they extended past May or April so it's like make sure that everybody remembers anomaly on sensors probes launched I found something they'd hate for people to sit there and get tagged because they weren't paying attention to the calendar 
narrowing down the list of possible locations. Today was like today was busy enough, but it's like not not a ton, nothing to write home about. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. All right, what is it? Another ship. This should give us a final location, Ryder. Got it. I'll forward all the information to your Omni tool. Are we going back to Kadara? Okay, we can do that. Yes, I wish to disembark. Yes, I wish to land. Okay. So, Art, did you see Elgato launched a new um, capture card? I'm hesitant to call it that. I guess capture device today. Um, it's they're saying it's built for. It's built for. Um, that's really loud. Uh, they're like, yeah, it's built for, um, support variable refresh rates. Right, it's built for the, for console, for the next gen consoles. The problem is, is it's not, um, it's not HDMI 2.1, so it won't do 4K 120. So, and that's like one of the big things that, that the consoles will do. But it will do variable refresh rate, which is nice. The other thing that I liked is that there was a... And I'm not entirely sure how it does it, but it will do recording in X265, which is nice. But it also says that it will sit there and use whatever, uh, you know, whatever... Um, software you want to use because when they wanted to when like in the regular PCI Express capture card the 1080p version um, you could only use the, the encoder and the if you used and the smell. their software Right? Like, that's always been the problem, is that they're, that they're kind of requiring you to use their stuff. So, I don't know. Like, I have no I have no desire to buy a new capture card. I've got, you know, the one that I've got works perfectly fine. But it just... It was just interesting. I was, I was kind of hoping that it would be an HDMI 2.1 capture card, and it's not.
like it would be the first HDMI capture, HDMI 2.1 capture card. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> that dude got done dirty. Well, one thing at a time there, Art. One thing at a time. To. I'd heard about meds being stolen. So they kicked out their own leader. I love that gun. I love that gun so much. Grenades, rifle mods, body armor. They're well stocked. This is top end gear. We don't trade with this stuff and it wasn't stolen in the uprising. Someone on the Nexus gave this to them. Former leader Yale. He's on EOS. He was. The They're tied to the Nexus. We'll have to talk to him to get to the root of this. I'm saving everything we found as proof. It'll come in handy. The Yale on EOS. Okay, that's where we're going. Fast travel. Then we're just gonna extract and get the hell out of here, or we're gonna go straight there. Go to EOS. I don't wonder how the hell, how far we are along in this game. Like, I'm, I'm definitely in no, you know, uncharted territory. Like, there are parts of this, we are definitely in the parts of this that I've never played before. Because I did play this on Xbox up to a point. We're well beyond that point.
ready to fly, Pap. What the? Find something? Something pinged us. An ID request. The Tempest auto-responded. We'll keep an eye out in the sector. Deploying probe. That a satellite? Is that what pinged us in this sector? It's pulsing an initiative call response code. Someone knows our tech inside and out. Let's get a scan. You know, let's go figure out what the hell that is. What the hell happened? Oh. Anti trackback measure? Drive system overloaded. Not quick enough, though. I got a serial that has triggered an alert. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. What is going on? Mm hmm. Let's go figure out what the hell that is. I don't believe it. Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it. Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. Uh-oh. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents! Humans hour. can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. I could see how you'd feel that way. Seriously? Look, Callow, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. Hmm. I see both points. The Tempest has too many new systems doing new things to just adapt on the fly. If we make changes, let's make them carefully and with respect. She's your ship. I just hope you know what you're doing. Ryder, I do. I, I know it's not. Thank you. Okay, it's over. Let's get back to work. Alright, let's talk to Addison and see what the hell's going on. Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director? What are you talking about? My alert identified a CK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Okay. Let's start making our way through that. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them, like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources, or turn blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. Well, tell me about this person. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the exiles. That was a big loss. 
How do we know she disappeared? Or when? She disappeared with the exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the <laughs> chaos, a lot of things and people went missing. Tell me about these satellites. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how is it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. Yes, it is. All right, so where do we begin? If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives, in that order. Okay. So we are... We are hunting, boys and girls. We are hunting. Let's go land on Eos. The scent is green. Coordinating, path is calm. He's here. talk to this guy because it sounds like he's up to his neck in relatively illegal stuff. Is your name Yale? Yeah, that's me. Stanton Yale. And what can I do for the Pathfinder today? Tell me about the three sabers. Oh, shit. You were their leader before they kicked you out. And gave me a broken leg and a dislocated shoulder as parting gift. It was a mistake. We trained the attack dogs, and they turned on us. Explain. <laughs> the new outposts, our supply routes, they needed protection. They couldn't rely on just you. I proposed that we'd save Nexus blood by hiring exiles to fight for us. It could have worked. Mercenaries and privateers have existed throughout history. That was the hope. Cochrane and I served together. I thought I could trust him and the crew. I became their commander. I armed them. I shared access to Patromo's oh, operations. And then they took their new toys and went rogue. Attacked people they were supposed to protect. You know I have to report this. You conspired with Nexus enemies. Who are you going to report to? Addison? She signed off on it. What? Addison? She wasn't sure Ryder would work out as Pathfinder. She was desperate for options. So report it if you want. Addison knows any investigation's gonna dig up docs covered in her fingerprints. I have to get back to work. We've got an outpost to run here. 
Most interesting. Yes, we will leave the planet. Ascent is go. So are you on like All a rabbit clear. food diet right now? All systems green. You know. Well, not to sit there and rub your nose in it, but I made... Technically, it's cottage pie, but I made shepherd's pie for dinner this weekend from scratch. It was banging. There was nothing keto about it, but boy, was it good. Instead of mashed potatoes, maybe. Let's try and get close enough to pull some data. On it. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Tracker ahead. Looks active. Ease up on it. We need a point of origin. Oh. That I don't know. That is one twitchy self-destruct. Wait. Just let me stick a predictive model in this fragment. There. A common vector. Maybe a point of origin. Good job. Let's go. I don't know if you can fry um, cauliflower like that. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Getting a scan. Pathfinder. This is the exact enough point indicated by the ZK trackers. Right, Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find our missing scientist. Damn it. The shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feeds. Hold on. Signal's through. Ready for coordinate transfer in. Who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comms. You took initiative equipment. Director Addison wants it back. Addison? What did she tell you? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder! She's pregnant. That woman is pregnant. 
That woman knows full well the state she's in. Chemical blockers were standard for cryo. We were supposed to wait until we were stable. And when was that going to be? Everything was going wrong. The Nexus had no plan. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan, said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. We're not going back. You're not getting my tech? We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it, don't tell her anything. Kill it. They flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. And I've got questions for her. Hmm. Now, can I just talk to her here, or am I going to have to go back? Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Oh, I have to talk to her on this one here. Maybe. Director Good Addison, night. I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. She didn't disappear. Dr. Kennedy left to try and have a child. You really had no clue? I knew she wanted us to fast track the schedule, but we had no worlds. We were going to lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. I all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish. She was always like this, even back on Earth. She talked me into this, and now, now we have to save her tail. Save her from what? Dr. Kennedy seems to have a group with her. Stealing aside, she has support. How long will that last? She's the smartest person I know, but she jumps without looking. Ryder, we have two speeches banged for the first child in Andromeda. Trust me. You want the one for the good outcome. What was the timetable for stopping the contraceptives everyone got before cryo? No way to tell. It was to be determined. You had to know that would frustrate people. It was the only answer we could give. The alternative was more mouths and more death. So, hey, keep going. Wait, what did Dr. Kennedy talk you into? She's an old university friend. We were catching up, and she mentioned a project she was training for. The Andromeda Initiative? She'd still be here if I wasn't forced to tell her no a year ago. Well, we'll see if we can't find her. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear. Okie dokie. A foolish thing to get angry over, isn't it? Perhaps you had to be there when the Tempest was made. In a way, I'm always there. I see my team's faces as clearly as yours. What's the saying? People aren't dead while someone still remembers them? I if think they so. still comfort and inspire you, are the people you love really dead? It would be very hard to be the last. Though the Tempest will outlast us all. Did you need anything else? Nope, I'm good. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. All right, let's see if we can't find. We'll try here, see if they're see if they put anything out there. Do we have a, an outpost on her all yet? I think we do.
my bold instead. Look like it. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go back to the Nexus and we'll talk to Addison and then we'll figure out where the hell we need to go from there. say though I like the fact that in Mass Effect in, in Andromeda we don't need to pay for gas. In 3 and in 2 you had to pay for gas and you could absolutely run out of gas. Let's go talk to Addison because, yeah. operations and figure out what the hell is going on. told me to expect a visit. I hoped this blunder wouldn't come to light, but Helios has a habit of dashing our hopes. Have the three sabers been eliminated, Pathfinder? Their deaths don't make this okay. I realize that, Ryder. A poor decision was made. People paid for it, but it's over. As far as everyone's concerned, the three sabers acted on their own. But they didn't, did they? Hey, Ryder. Who the hell's this? This investigation started with Sid's instincts. I applaud good instincts, but not in this case. So oh, I shit. was right, wasn't I? Someone on the Nexus was helping the Three Sabers. Yes, it was a mistake. We authorized a course of action that cost lives, but like I said, it's over. You have to tell people. If we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. 
It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? We're not taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. With all due respect, Director, Sid's right. Transparency is important for building trust. People need to know they can trust us, even when we screw up. I'll make sure people hear about this. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. Maybe. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. Ooh. Now, requesting armor cam footage. Shit, we had a whole lot of stuff in there that we didn't I didn't know about. Hydroponics reports oxygen production is nominal. You could do that. Fallout from the recent uprising and security tightens across all sectors on the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's quote, for your safety. This is HNS. Alright, so let's see. Let's go to Elodin. That's someplace new. We haven't been there yet. I don't... Here's a question that I've got. How the hell do these air fryer things work? Because you're not necessarily frying it. You're just kind of like baking it. Aren't you? In a way? It's like aiming a heat gun at something. Okay. All 
right, so this is where the Krogan ended up. Wait, do I not have that a five? I guess not. All right, I'm gonna have to sit there and fix that. All right, so let's Sam see what the Krogan are all about. Nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac. We're landing on Eladin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. So speaking of Mass Effect art, when are you going to get back into play Emmy Water? Remnant Starship? No. Only 41% exposed. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. Good man. lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Eat hazard. Oh, good. Oh, you gotta stay in the shade. Oh, fantastic. We want to be careful. From what I hear, it's swarming with scum. Just make sure you know where your guns are. I said I wouldn't do Gonna it. get a better gun and take them all down. So you're an ear. That's right. And you are? Veteran X. We do business with the same people on Kadara. Ah, yes. One of the newcomers. Welcome, all of you, to my paradise. Outside the gates, you're on your own. But in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Yeah, everyone's on their best behavior. Is it natural, or are they on something? <laughs> Nothing so complicated. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave or they're out. Now, what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. Tell me about yourself. You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elodin. Yeah? I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. Tell me about Elodin. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. Tell me about the scavengers. Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. 
Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. Like you? Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. There's a place they call the Flop House, East Ditch of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. Oh, good. Let's. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. How about the Krogan colony? You get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. You know where this Jorgal Strux guy is? I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux. Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. All right, well, tell me what you got. What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. Hey. Nothing here we want, because that's all she sells. Ew. Nice duds. Better watch your back. There's probably already a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Is that a threat or a warning? Are you threatening me? Sounded like it. Me? No, just trying to be helpful. I know a hard target when I see one. And I stay on your good side. Maybe you won't mind me picking up the scraps you'll leave behind. So, what else can I do for you? So, you live here? Where do you live? Where do you sleep? There's a flop house not far from here. There's always shelter. Maybe even a bed, if someone died that day. Oh, I like this place already. What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? Trying to find out where my claim is? No, relax. I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. You know a Krogan named Strux? Nope. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. Alright, thanks talking. for your help. Suit yourself. Step off. Not allowed back here. Alright, so that's a no-no. Stuff. You've been trained to spot this. One of the reasons Ania hired me. I know whose good side to get on. So tell me about yourself. So you work for the water merchant? I design the filtration systems. Now I keep them from breaking down in the heat. You're an engineer? Of sorts. On Kadara, I designed defense systems for the settlements. Specialized in hidden traps to use in the dark. <laughs> I can't continue that work here. Why? The sun never goes down on Elodin. No nighttime. Just constant blazing daylight. It's why the paradox Fun. does so well. Water isn't the only commodity. We have shade. How the hell did you get here? How'd you end up here? Same as anyone. I was desperate. Run up a debt on Kadara and needed to escape. I have to say life isn't bad here. I moved between the paradise and New Tachanka, keeping the water tanks running. Sometimes I even go to the flop house to buy extra parts from the scavengers. They respect me there. Still, I miss the exciting stuff. Felt like I was making a difference when I built defense systems. Tell me about Anea. 
What's your boss like? She gave me a job and a place to live. I'm grateful to her for that. But... She's not easy on your kind. I've seen her deny the water based on nothing but her mood. She didn't live on Kadara like I did. All she's seen is the exiles on Elodin. It's enough to turn anyone against outsiders. But I don't like seeing people suffer. Even exiles. You ever think about joining the Resistance? If you want to make a difference again, the Resistance needs recruits on Vold. The Resistance? It's a nice thought, but I doubt they'd take a low life like me. I should get going. Careful out there. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. Go for a it. Pathfinder. Impressive. How'd you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the collective is saying about you. What are they saying? Well, now I'm curious. I won't repeat it, for your sake. All right. So, tell me about the scavengers here. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. Strong words from one of their customers. I buy from them. Doesn't mean I have to like them. Might be safe here, but out there, if a gang leader wants you dead, you're dead. Yeah. I don't plan to let my guard down. All right, so how is the salvage running business? You said you run salvage to Kadara. How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. Sloane takes her cut, naturally, but mostly I make a killing. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say so. But tell me about Elodin. What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. I don't know worm? how anyone can live here. Somehow they make it work? Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a ride out of here. Except the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. So have you heard anything about Reyes? Ever worked with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? He used to. Know where he is? Haven't heard from him in a while, actually. No one has. For all I know, he's living it up on the Nexus. He's definitely not there. Take it easy. Always do. What are you looking at? Just curious. To be honest, I'm curious about what's going on here. What's going on is none of your damn business. Keep walking, or I'm gonna shoot out your knees. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Wow, the stories about Elodin are true. This guy's Ryder, a douche. I heard that little exchange. I don't understand. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Perfect. Not a scavenger rider. Not a scavenger rider. I bet that's a water storage setup over there. I'm supposed to get the next seat off this planet. I have credits. I need to get back to the Nexus. Oh shit. Almost got landed on. You're definitely not here just yet. Okay. Oh, hello. Maybe. You are 
think you are? Scott Ryder, Pathfinder for the Initiative. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the Initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. That's right. I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So, yeah. trouble at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus, that much we know. Drac trusts Morda, and I trust Drac. Her, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drac. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Your homeworld's worse than this place. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. I agree. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. You think? you're pointing that thing at me? I, uh, sorry. Subtle. Also not a scavenger. Not a scavenger rider. Let's see if we can't put down a... Activating automated forward station deployment. There we go. And they're just okay with us landing this sucker right here. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Without issue, we're just going to sit there and drop this fucker right on their porch. Levels increasing. Gonna get a better gun and take them all down. What I wouldn't give for a little nighttime. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. What I wouldn't give for a little night time. Got it. I'll kill each one of you. That one didn't work. Try someone else. And? Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Must be a reason you're here. Is there a problem? Not with the Nexus. This is a personal matter. My sister huh. Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. 
I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara, together. You're a good okay. brother, Kent. Don't congratulate me yet. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. I'll find her. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. Okay, we can do that. the gang leaders and the worm so far i'm impressed the worm bothers me got info on someone named isabel halsey what am i your personal database come on you're the only one here who doesn't want to kill me just help me out fine fine I i've never met her but i heard a few scavengers talking mention a cave out in the dunes something about isabel's time being limited this is the nav point. Just watch out. That's a bad area. All of Elodin is a bad area. Good point. Take it easy. Always do. Quest over here somewhere. Huh? You killed Clex. Got a problem with that? Data inconclusive. Here, Find no. a different one. Out there, watch yourself. Perfect. Talking about the remnant? Dunno. You an eavesdropping snake? Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder? You should check that out. Push off. Push off. Hey. I'll kill each one of you. Heat levels increasing. Hey. The ambient temperature is normal. Meet the eye. Okay, well, we can do that. If there's anybody else in here, not a scavenger rider. Upstairs and see if there's anything up here. Not a scavenger, Ryder. Thanks, Ryder. That should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. All right. Well, let's go take a poke around. What time is it? Twelve o'clock. Okay. We've got a little bit of time, so let's take a poke around. And you're back with food. What'd you get? So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. 
The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. The right. scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. Fun. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Cotty, ooh. You're in a bed after the night. All right, ma'am. Have a good rest of your evening, and we will see you next time. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Across whom? You are fighting you. Okay. So this place is a hell hole. Reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support at 100%. Great. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder.
Hostiles ahead! Pathfinder, I detect scavenger interference at additional random sites. They never make it easy. Let's go to those other sites. Um, I'm going to do that. Um, first and foremost, I'm waiting on some of the stuff from Cable Mod, so that's number one. Two. Um, the, he's looking, he's kind of trying to figure out what he wants to do kind of as a desk. So a little bit yet he's waiting on some, he's waiting on a little bit of cash influx from the grandparents before he does anything. I detect above normal temperatures. Ambient temperature is normal. Life support at 100%. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. No, you have not already forgot. Easter. But like I said, he still hasn't he still hasn't figured out what he wants to do. Automated protocols for a desk. Deploying forward station. Like, he's got some general ideas, but he just hasn't found anything yet. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Well, he's... He hit up one... He hit up one grandparent already, and I had made mention that he's saving up for something, and my mom goes, well, we've got Easter coming up. I'll give him some money for that. To die, but I mean, it's just a temperature range, he's just being a good grandma. The scavengers set up camp out here. How do they survive the heat? Doesn't get us. 
anywhere really. I'm not going to be able to reach that, so, okay. Hmm. Ah, look at that. Should be enough glyphs. Nice. Hey. One monolith down. Another one. What time is it? Twelve twenty-three. Um, we may have enough time to just go and find said monolith, and that may be it. Scavengers set up a dune camp. Stay on guard. Or we're just gonna zip right on past them. Definitely don't want to fall into sinkholes. That's a bad time. Because how was your day? What'd you do today? Anything good? Anything fun? travel point before we get too far this way. I think that's it. There's a fast travel point, which is right there. Oh, 
automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added okay, to your nav station. system, Pathfinder. There's another monolith. Well, it's better. I advise against prolonged sun exposure, Pathfinder. Gonna be hard to avoid out here. Like, I'm in a suit. Like, I don't understand why the heat is that big of a deal, considering. What in the hell? Ew. should now be able to interface <laughs> Pathfinder. That was easy enough. That did it. Wait, this is fast tonight. I'm curious if they got rid of the Sudoku, because that was always the big thing. Like, you had to get the glyphs, and... Had to go and play Sudoku. The last one. Way the hell over there. Here's if we can even get to that. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. That's always good. Wow, this place is a hellhole. Get ready to fight! That's the remnant derelict Morta's obsessed with. We may be able to get all of these things and knock out the monolith here. That'd be sweet. Activating automated forward station deployment. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Okay. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. It's like Tatooine.
you what, I would not want to be stuck on a planet like this. This sucks. Jesus, there's just nothing here. I detect above normal temperatures. That's something big. That must be the worm that they're talking about. Let's avoid that, if at all possible. How long have we been driving around? Feels like hours. You sure you're going the right way? What? You're expecting signs or something? Ambient temperature is normal. That's enough. Find out. They're making me do it. Fuck. All right, hold on. We're going to do this one. In one second, we're going to knock this one out. <sighs> Shit. Dara, Eladin. Sweet. Interface accepted.
Gonna learn to set up meds from diocese. I'm essentially done for the night. We are we're gonna get ourselves out of here. So, Kaz, have a good rest of your 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 night. Have a good rest of your week, and we'll talk to you on Thursday. No, if you gotta run, run, dude. Like, we're I'm gonna go see if there's anybody anybody online to host, and if not, we're just bouncing. So, let's see. Back to peace.